obviously you guys have survived a very public cheating scandal. How do you rebuild and actually get to trust each other again from that? Well, for you, Gia, how do you get to like trust him after going through that? Especially, I know you've talked about how you, you didn't see the signs, you know, that he was stepping out and things like that. So what work do you both really have to do to get to where you are right now? Because I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. um, there's two answers to that question. The first answer is found in the chapter called The New Deal. So after uh, a person is hurt because their partner offended them in some way, it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating. It can be in any significant way. Okay. There has to be reparations that are made in order to begin the process of making the relationship whole again. Because when you hurt somebody, when you devastate them, so much is stripped from the relationship. And as the offendee, it almost feels as though nothing they can do can ever get you back to that beautiful place that you once were. But that is not true. Mm -hmm. If you are with someone that prioritizes you and the relationship and does everything that they can until, and that's really my biggest and best answer to your question. It is the until. I've known men that have faltered and mm -hmm. They, they accept it, you know, but do they really understand the devastation that they caused? Yeah. No, because they'll say to you something like, I apologize. I said, I'm never going to do it again. I'm here. You know, we've talked about this a thousand times. How many times are you going to remind me about what I did? It's not going to go away. It happened like enough already. It's like, they're fed up. Mm -hmm. so did you have is, any like moments where you're like I want to get back like or like what was your I, I I felt that way initially and again that was still the inexperienced and unwise younger version of me because when you're hurt it's like the saying goes hurt people hurt people so being that I was hurt I wanted him to suffer right there along with me yeah. if we're going to make this thing work Every time I have a bad thought, a hurtful moment, or a negative notion, guess who's going to feel it too? You. Let's sit down and have another conversation. But once I decided to forgive, mm -hmm. once I decided to forgive and understood what forgiveness really meant, the actual definition, I understood that it's not my job to punish him. Mm -hmm. It's not my job to hurt him. If I believe that his intentions are good from that point forward, I have to accept him, accept what he did and move forward in a positive way where we're both nurtured. Just because you have the ability to abuse somebody doesn't mean that you should take that ability. doesn't mean you should exploit that. And once I learned better, I was responsible to do better. Mm -hmm. And now Envy, if the roles were reversed, do you think you could have done the work that Gia did to forgive and get to where you guys are now? Cause I know with men, it's like, it's, there's that notion of like, if, if a man cheats, you know, or, or something does something, then it's kind of like the women will take him back. But if a woman even looks at another man, it's like all hell. <laughs> yeah, no, no, ab absolutely. I, I mean, we have something special in our relationship that, that I have never, I haven't seen in too many relationships where we're able to be honest and open. Um, and, and another thing is I always tell everybody, I didn't know the true definition of love, right? If you're in a, in a relationship, you always say, yeah, I love you. I love you. But do we understand? Do we really know what that definition is? Or do we just say it because it's cool? It's okay. Like when you understand, and when I had to figure out the true definition of love, and when I and when I mean the true definition is, you know, if I really love Gia, I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to keep secrets from her. I don't want to cheat on her. I don't want to embarrass her. I don't want to put her in something that will make her feel a way other than feel like she's loved. And once you get to that point, you realize that in a relationship, that should be your partner, your friend, your best friend. That should be your other arm. And I mean, people say it all the time. That's my right hand. That's my right rib. But, you know, in, in those situations, is it truly? Now we're in a place where nothing's off the table. Like she, I'm on a plane and I'm like, babe, I need you to post this on my Instagram because I'm flying. Sure, babe, no problem. Like we have that type of relationship. And like I said, it's been the best ever since we've been open. I mean, if anything bothers, like we, we were talking the other day and I was like, yo, 27 years. I'm like, you're not tired of me. And she's like, no. And she was like, you're not tired of me. You have no complaints. I said, just one, just one complaint. Oh, come on. Guess, what, guess, what, guess what the complaint was. Okay. You tell him. I'm 
late occasionally. She's always late. <laughs> always late. I got a lot of her. I have six kids and a newborn. Right. Oh, that part better late than never, right? <laughs> shave room interview is two o'clock. I'm like, baby, you got shave room at one. Was I on time today? Yes, yeah, she was. I, I, I was late. <laughs> she was early. She was actually early. <laughs>